What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Bonnie and this is Happy Space Creates. If you are new here, hello and welcome. Happy Space Creates is a channel that talks about sewing and crafting related content. So if that is something that you enjoy, do click the subscribe button down below right now. I have got a what's inside this month's sewing magazines for you, so stay tuned if you want to find out what's inside. Hello everyone! So I am back with a what's inside this month's sewing magazines video. I did not do this for you last month, it just completely slipped my mind and I totally forgot to do it. So I am back with April's issues of magazines. Now this month's been a bit wild because they've all come out at different times. I did see on Love Sewing Magazine's um, Instagram that they had a bit of a shipping delay. So we have literally had one come out every different week. So some of them you might have already seen already, some of them might be new for you, um, but I just wanted to go through each magazine as to what you get inside. So I am going to start off, as I usually do, um, talking about what is on the front cover of the magazines and then also your free patterns that you get inside. And I might share a little bit of interesting content inside as well if I see anything that takes my eye. But I don't like to go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. So let's get started with Simply Sewing Magazine. So let's talk about Simply Sewing Magazine. I actually didn't pick this one up this month. I went to the shop and it just wasn't really tickling my pickle. So I didn't get it. Um, I just felt like it wasn't really a good use of my money because as I was looking at the patterns, I had quite a few like similar patterns at home. So I decided not to go for it, but I will quickly talk about what's inside now, share with you a couple of images that I've managed to find online, just so you can see if it tickles your pickle at home. So let's get started. So inside you have got this beautiful springtime cover. The front cover says full bloom for spring and it talks about 17 feel good makes that you get for your wardrobe. You also get an exclusive tea dress with two different lengths and two different sleeve options. You also have a how to section on inserting a zip making a bag and sewing with elastic. And you also get some cool little bedroom makeover ideas in there as well. So kind of really good updates for spring, spring cleaning kind of era. Um, everyone's gonna be going through their wardrobes and having a little clear out. So it's a good opportunity to put some new capsule kind of statement pieces in there. So I do feel like Simply Sewing Magazine are trying to tick that off the list this month. Um, and inside you get this gorgeous tea dress. So a tea dress is great for this time of year as well, especially with two different lengths. Um, you've got sort of like a mid length and then like a maxi length. Um, a tea dress is great for Mother's Day, afternoon tea, picnics, um, anything that's kind of like loose and flowy, but you do still need a little bit of a sleeve for. So that's a great pattern to include. So another thing that you get included in this month's Simply Sewing magazine is really interesting and I did actually see a couple of people comment about this in the past. They have actually included a trouser pattern this month. Now Simply Sewing magazine usually only ever put in dress patterns um, so it's really interesting that they have put a trouser pattern in there which I think is really really key and a lot of people shy away from making trousers due to these fit issues that you might come into contact with. So a a free pattern for trousers is a fantastic addition to the collection. So inside you get the Paper Theory Miller trousers. So they look to be like quite a loose fit with a tie waist. Um, and I think they've actually got an elasticated waist as well. So they look like to be a really comfy pair of trousers to wear for the summer. You could make these in a beautiful linen or maybe something a little bit more floral for the springtime. Um, so yeah, I was really, really pleased to see a trouser pattern included. Um, and I do think that they should do that more often. So next up included is the Midnight Sun Bag from Incomplete Stitches. It is a gorgeous bag. It is like a tote kind of style bag. Um, you could make this with beautiful leather straps as well. It's really, really nice. And Simply Sewing Magazine are one of the few magazines that include accessory patterns quite regularly. So 
they quite often include a bag pattern probably every six months I would say you get a bag pattern in there but they quite often do different accessories as well um, so it is always nice to add something a bit different into your stash um, and it's really great for sort of like gift making and things like that so I know it's approaching a little bit late for Mother's Day gifts um, but if you are looking to make something like a beach bag for the summer this could be perfect to get you going for the spring summer season um, and like I said it's great to make gifts um, everyone loves receiving a bag don't they everyone loves tote bags nowadays so yeah that is pretty much what I saw from Simply Sewing Magazine like I said I don't have the physical copy for you this month but I have seen a couple of people tagging some stuff on Instagram and there looks to be some really interesting articles in there the one thing that I do really really love about Simply Sewing Magazine is it's really um it's probably the most social um, of the sewing magazines they seem to feature quite a lot of the sewing community which in theory makes us all feel a lot closer because we might think that we are little small fishes in a really big sea so it makes us all feel closer together so I do really like that Simply Sewing magazine focus on the um, society that is sewists. So next up we have Sew Magazine. Now I do have a physical copy of this to hand. This came out a couple of weeks ago now, um, so you can see it hasn't got any plastic cover on it because I could not wait. I had to have a little look through it already. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what is on the front cover. So inside we have got 14 simple designs and then you've also got a six step blouse, so nice and easy. And then you've also got a workshop on mastering knit fabrics. Um, you've got a couple of Easter projects in here as well, which is super cute. And then you've also got um, dressmaking, home decor, toys and quilts. So they do have a little bit of something for everyone in here. Let's have a little discussion about this gorgeous front cover here. So as we can see, our lovely model is wearing a beautiful um, top. So this, I don't know if you can actually really see on the detail of the pattern, but it has got this lovely little twisted detail in the middle here. Now this is actually one of the free patterns that comes included. So this is the Simplicity K2181. Now this is a beautiful top collection. So as you can see, the model's wearing that twisty top again right there. So that is version A. You've also got version B, C, D and E. So all different slight variations on where those twists and those frills are. I absolutely love version C and that's got the twisted version to the side. So I feel like that would be really flattering on my particular body shape. But I feel like these tops have literally got something to suit every like shape and size. I feel like this you can make really casually or you can also dress it up as well if you made it in a beautiful like metallic fabric. Um, so I was really, really pleased with this pattern. Um, I thought it was gorgeous and I don't really have a lot of just top patterns. A lot of my patterns are for dresses. Um, so I did really like having a blouse pattern included. Now what I did notice is quickly flicking to the magazine is there is always a section in Sew Magazine that sort of goes through the patterns with you and you know how to style them. And I thought it was really great because for this particular version here, they have the um, types of views listed here. And it does actually give you advice on if you are broader shouldered, make this one. If you are smaller busted, make this version, um, which I thought was really, really helpful advice because I don't know about you, but there's been many, many times when I have lusted after a particular garment and then made it and it just doesn't suit my body shape. So I feel like that is really, really valuable advice to tell you like which version to make compared to your proportion. So I really, really did enjoy that. This pattern comes in sizes six to 24, um, and it can be made in stretch knits only. So jersey, stretch velvet, two-way stretch, lace, um, and then obviously it says you might need extra if you want to do some pattern matching. So this is a stretch pattern 
So like myself, I'm learning a lot about stretch at the moment and I do have a little bit of stretch in my stash that I need to use. So um, this for me is perfect. Moving on to the next pattern that you get included. This is the Simplicity 9125. Now, I know this is a really popular pattern. Um, I always see this crop up every summer. People always like pop this up on Instagram. Um, and this is a lovely play suit pattern. So you have got a play suit version here. Oh, is that a play suit or is that a jumpsuit? I always get confused. Is that a jumpsuit? One of them's long, one of them's short. One of them's called a jumpsuit, one of them's called a play suit. I never know which one is which, but you've basically got an all-in-one trouser suit here, and then you've got a shorter version there. I don't know what they're called. Um, and then also you've got the skirt, maxi skirt, and then you've got a shorter um, version as well. Uh, so you've got a couple of various different options there. You also have different um, necklines. So one of them is a like ruche neck and then the other one is just a V-neck. Um, so kind of really versatile summer pattern really. Um, different sleeve options. You've got a skinny strap and then a thicker strap. So really, really good to mix and match. You can make multiple play suits or jumpsuits, whichever you prefer to call them. Um, lots of different looks there. Great if you're going on holiday. Um, look how comfortable that looks. It's basically like daytime pyjamas. That's what I love. Daytime pyjamas. Um, yeah, love that pattern. Um, I've actually never, ever made a jumpsuit slash play suit, whatever you want to call them. Um, never made one before. Um, partly because I'm scared, but I might do it soon. I might actually make one soon. I've been meaning to. Um, you also get a beautiful little tie as well to tie around the middle. So this one comes in sizes, my favourite, it comes in my favourite, XX small to XXL. You know I love a sizing bracket like that. Um, yes, yeah, so it comes in extra, extra small to extra, extra large. I will post the sizing brackets for you right now. Um, and this is for um, woven fabrics. So this is to be made in chambray or cotton types, crepe back, crepe back satin, soft lightweight linen, um, poplin, silky types. Um, it also says you can make it out of jersey as well. Um, so yeah, a super versatile pattern. Once again, they go into detail inside the magazine with the different variations that you have and the different um, body shapes that suit each way round. So I do believe that is a really, really valuable little bit of information that they include and it just helps us get the most out of our makes. Let's have a little look at what's inside the magazine just to see if anything takes our eye. So we have got a gorgeous little Easter section in this magazine and I absolutely love Easter. Um, Easter is just like second Christmas, isn't it really? Just chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Um, they have these lovely little um, bunny-eared um, Easter games. So they are like um, garden bowling. Um, so you obviously weigh them down at the bottom and then you've got like the little pattern for the bean bags that you throw. I just think hopefully the weather's going to be gorgeous and this is so fun. Um, it's great as an indoor game as well because obviously it's all soft. Um, so it's not like it's going to damage anything if you're playing games in the house. And I just think that's a really, really um, lovely handmade like gift. If you have got children um, and you don't want to give like gift chocolate, sometimes it can be overwhelming, or they just received so much chocolate and you want to give an Easter gift, this is so cute because you would get that out every, every year. And obviously it's a good scrap buster as well. And I just think they're gorgeous. I would personally put little eyes on them and little whiskers because that's adorable. Um, these ones don't have whiskers, but I definitely would put whiskers on. Um, and then you've also got a pattern for a gorgeous Easter basket as well if you are doing an Easter egg hunt. And again, some more Easter treats for you in here. You've got these lovely little felt Easter bunny ears. I mean, that's really cute as well, isn't it? I feel like I'm too old for Easter ears, but I mean, I don't have children, but if I did, I would make Easter ears. They're adorable. So tons and tons of Easter projects packed into this one. Um, so if you start now, you can get it done in time because um, Easter is quite early in April. So I feel like it's only a couple of weeks away. So get out there and start on your Easter projects now.
So let's talk about Love Sewing Magazine. I've actually picked this up today. It only came out yesterday. There was a bit of a delay with their, I think it was their dispatch or shipping. Um, they put a little note out to everyone to say that it wasn't coming on time. I think it was supposed to be last week. Um, so this is Love Sewing Magazine. As you can see, I haven't even had a chance to go through it yet. So we are doing that together right now. So let's have a little look as to what's on the front cover. So we have got a bumper issue. So this is a two-in-one Tilly and the Buttons dress included. I'm a massive fan of Tilly and the Buttons, so I'm so pleased that they are including more sort of indie patterns on the front covers rather than just your big four. Um, I just think it broadens everyone's sewing horizons. Um, you get 25% off Butterick patterns in this one. Um, and as usual, it says that the size range is six to 24. Once again, I always put a little note to say that that is just a general size bracket. Not every pattern included will be from a six to 24. It is just a size range that they like to give. So let's open this up and take a look on the front cover because it's pretty sparse on this little sleeve. So this is a super, super bumper edition. You actually get three patterns included in this one. Um, so let's start off with the Tilly and the Buttons dress. So this is a really cute little booklet. Um, so this is the two-in-one Bettine dress pattern. Um, this is in sizes 6 to 24, and it says, sew the ultimate everyday dress. Um, so let's have a little look at what's inside this booklet. Now, you do have to go and download this pattern from the interweb and print it off yourself. So it isn't actually a physical pattern, which is a bit disappointing. It's basically a free printable, um, but this looks to be a cute little instruction guide to go alongside it. So what I suggest is when you have printed that pattern at home, um, pop this and the pattern in a little um, pocket, just so you keep them all together and don't lose any of the instructions. But you have got lots of information on here on the sizing chart. So this is for a woven fabric um, and it does suggest that you use medium weight drapey fabric such as viscose, chambray, cotton lawn, um, it does say or delicate crepe or georgette. I probably wouldn't make it in something as floaty as that, um, although I'm sure it would look gorgeous. I would probably prefer to use something like mid-weight. And then it has wonderful um, picture instructions, which is obviously what Tilly is known best for. I must say, out of all the sewing patterns I use, Tilly's instructions are the best. Um, I just feel like they're really visual and really fun um, and easy to follow. So there you go. So that's what you get inside that pattern. Um, it's quite comprehensive, actually. So next up, you have a McCall's pattern, which is McCall's 8167. I've never seen this pattern before, but when I saw it on the front cover, I thought it was really, really summery. Um, it's kind of like a very loose fitting um, dress, um, which is perfect for the hot weather because it's not clingy at all. Um, and it's got a variation of different necklines. So this one's got a little um, collar at the top. This one's just a sort of slight slit. You've got different sleeve options and different lengths as well. Um, so really, really floaty. Um, I thought this was a great pattern because this is actually a really good maternity pattern. Um, not that I'm expecting a baby, but I've got friends that are expecting babies and I look at that kind of stuff now. Um, and yeah, I feel like if you love a good barbecue or like eating a lot in the summer and don't want things sticking around your stomach, this is a great dress. Um, really impactful as well if you want to make it in a gorgeous metallic fabric or something a bit sparkly or floral. Um, really, really versatile, this one. Um, and like I said, super comfortable and floaty. Great for a holiday. So this one comes in sizes extra small to extra large, my favourite. Um, and it is for cotton blend, linen or stable knit. So a Ponte Roma or something like that would be lovely. Um, but yeah, overall, a really good pattern. One of the versions also has a high, low hem, which um, I've never made before. And I think it's really effective. Um, so that's really interesting as well. So that is the McCall's 8167. 
And then lastly, you have got the Butterick 6722. So again, a really beautiful summertime pattern. This is kind of like a t-shirt dress. The sleeves here are, I, I believe they're called grown on sleeves. There's no, um, sleeve hole for them they just sort of like slope off on the pattern um so again a really easy make and it's a real flattering shoulder that actually um but it's kind of got a t-shirt looking top and then the skirt has different tiered levels and some cute little buttons that go down the, the front as well um that's a really interesting pattern because i believe the buttons are fake i don't think they're real buttons i think they're just a placket and sewn on buttons but don't quote me on that because I haven't read the instructions yet. Um, but it, the t-shirt is just like clothes. There's no like buttons at the top. So that's what's making me feel like the buttons are fake on the waist. Um, so this can be made out of gauze, cotton blends, crepes and silk. Um, so it is a woven pattern for you. Um, I think it's really lovely. It's definitely casual. Um, I don't know if you would dress this up at all, but I do feel like it's a real comfortable make for the summer. Um, not sure if I'm going to make this one, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if it would suit my figure. Um, but I do think it's a lovely pattern um, and I do think that it's great to have in your stash because you never know when you might want to make something a bit more breezy. Um, but yeah, that's the Butterick um, 6722. So, as I said, I probably wouldn't make this pattern. Let's have a little look at this front cover here. Um, oh, sorry, the light shining on it. Um, this is actually the Butterick pattern and it does look completely different on her. I don't know why, but sometimes the styling of um, the pattern packets just don't do the pattern justice but this looks really beautiful on her and now I'm seeing it on her I'm like oh actually I would make that that does look really nice um, so let's take a look at this front cover so this talks about starting your summer wardrobe they're starting early um, and they're talking about dressing to impress practice your pleats master colour theory and top tips for sewing tears now the butterick pattern that is included does feature a tiered skirt so it's very important that they've put that little workshop in there um they've also got a free pattern for a simple ruffle dress um i think that's probably a draft it yourself pattern and then how to tailor your oversized clothing. So that could be really interesting, um, how to maybe upcycle some bits that you've got at home already. And then you also have this gorgeous unicorn cushion. Um, let's take a little look inside and see what we can find. So there is our gorgeous unicorn cushion right there. If you've got a girl at home that loves unicorns, this is so cute. Um, it does look like it's a lot of work involved in it, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I do think the payoff when you've completed it would be totally worth it. Um, they've made it out of the um, like plushy fleece. So it is super duper cuddly. But I guess you could make it out of any fabric. Um, but I do think the plushy fleece fabric does give it that extra cuddly feeling. Now this is a really interesting article in here. So we have got a kind of book feature in this here of the dressmakers of Auschwitz which I think is really really interesting because it's such a like historical topic I personally would love to read that book um, I've never heard of that book before I don't know if it's new um, but it sounds really really interesting and it's a lovely interview with these ladies here and all about the book and the features and maybe the life that they had um, so I do think that's a really interesting topic because it's not particularly light um, it is quite a difficult topic um, but I do think it's really really interesting and it does show that there's a lot of history in sewing as well um, so I'm really interested to read that later on and inside they have this cute little upcycling project for you um, these are actually um, scrap denim um, and they've turned them into plant pots which is really really cute um, that kind of industrial kind of uh, decor is really in fashion and I think this is a great gift um, I actually think this is quite an appropriate Father's Day gift 
um, and because it's Mother's Day soon I do feel like it's a bit random to have it in there now um, but do keep note of that because I think as a Father's Day gift that's a really good uh, shout um, but it's a really interesting upcycle project and one that I haven't seen before. And then here we have a feature on that gorgeous McCall's dress that you get included. So as you can see, there's that high-low hem that I spoke about. So they've just made it up in all the different versions just to so showcase what they look like. Um, I really love this gorgeous yellow fabric. I'm going to look that up because... It's almost neon and I love that. There is a bunch of content inside there this month and some really, really interesting topics. So I'm not going to tell you everything that's inside so that you can run off and get your own copies right now. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day and a happy weekend and enjoy all your sewing endeavours. If you have enjoyed this video, do give it a quick like by clicking that little button down below. And then also if you want to see more of what Happy Space Creates have to offer, do click the subscribe button below i would love to have you as part of my little community but thank you so much for watching for now it's been a pleasure and i'm gonna see you really really soon bye